I'm at Northway again. Well, on the 17th of October 2017, I published a video called High Speed Trains. Guess how many views it's had in almost a year? Eight. So, because I love these high speed trains so much, I'm going to have another go. Let's see what happens this time. The high speed train very iconic design and they've been around for more than 40 years. I know they've had engine rebuilds but they are absolutely superb locomotives. You do see quite a lot of diesels from the 60s and 70s now being preserved but you don't see any of these in preservation because they're all still in use. There are only three which have been destroyed, well scrapped after collisions, derailments, and one of them actually, 43011, is the one you can see in the foreground there. We've actually got a model of 43011, well that's no longer with us. Well here is the Hornby model, R069, and I've done a couple of modifications from this model. It was originally manufactured in 1979, can you believe? Well there were only contacts on four of the wheels, so I bought this new bogey from Peter Spares and fitted to the front and that picks up on all four wheels. So now it has pickups on six wheels, which is much better. And I fitted the lighting kit. So the original one did have lights that came on, but it's only had forward lights, the white ones, when it was going forwards. But this is a digital version, and it can change to red when it goes backwards. The camera doesn't pick up the red all that well, actually. But believe me, it's changed to red when the direction changes. It contains the trusty three-pole Hornby Ringfield motor. And there's nothing wrong with that motor, it works fine. You just have to keep the motor well maintained. As long as you look after it, everything is good. Now just watch this going on the slow speed. Well if I want to run five or six coaches in this train, I need a loco on each end especially for going up the incline. Well, no problem. We just get a motorised version, one on each end, and we tell Hornby Railmaster we've got a double header. And it works like that. Now watch this coming to the station at a slow speed. Pretty impressive for a 40 year old model. Well just to prove we don't throw this all together at the last minute, I will look at a few photos of the trains which I'm trying to recreate. This is Old Oak Common in 1978. And this is Doncaster in 1984. 
near Selby, 1983, near Newport in 1982. But likewise, the Hornby model, which was made in the 1970s initially, has been around for a long time. And you can buy these on eBay for next to nothing. And, well, I know they're not as good as the modern ones. And when we look at the coaches, we've got the seven window shorty, as they're known, because they're not the correct scale length. They should have eight windows and they should be longer. But you can get these for next to nothing too. And we can have just as much fun, I think, running these around. Let's just have a watch. speed train. The high speed trains are very comfortable and very fast. High speed trains? Hey, I love them. Yes, so do I. <laughs> 